what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Comedian Tracy Morgan is being dragged to quarantine hell after an appearance on the Today Show where he caped for Donald Trump, your president. Why would any rational person do such a thing? Why would any self-respecting black man cape for Donald Trump? One of the worst of the worst individuals that has ever walked the planet. Tracy went out of his way to give the demander and thief credit. The woman who interviewed him didn't even ask him about Donald Trump. He just came on out. They were talking about his show, The Last OG. And he just came out of nowhere. People want to criticize the president, but he has a difficult job. Imagine being the president of a country and half of your country is sick. He signed up for this. Ain't no damn crime when it's time to go to work. This is the same doofus who paraded around campaigning saying, I can do anything all by myself. Remember, he didn't even want to take briefings from the CIA. He's like, look, you know, I know what's going on. I don't need any briefings. Uh, I'll holler at y'all in a minute. He was too busy. He takes credit for everything that goes right and everything that goes wrong is everybody else's fault. Now, Tracy went on to say that now is not the time for us to be angry. Why not? When this fool could have stopped the coronavirus in its tracks from invading the U.S. First and foremost, he dismantled the team that Obama had set, that Obama had assembled to uh, fight uh, deadly diseases, to counter these diseases before they would ever become a major threat to Americans. He disbanded, said, we don't need it. Got rid of it. Then when the scientists and the, the pundits were saying, hey, we got to do something. This coronavirus thing is serious. What if it hits America? <laughs> One day it'll just, we'll wake up and it'll just, just go away. Who the hell says one day we'll wake up and a pandemic will just go away? A disease will just go away. This dude is a reality show star, a real estate agent who ain't really that good. Remember, he inherited his wealth. Well, his papa gave him a substantial amount of money and basically just opened the doors for anything he wanted. So it ain't like he really worked to become a millionaire or a billionaire, whatever the hell he is. Ain't like he just worked for it. This is why I don't respect him as a businessman. All of his businesses, uh, well, not all of them, but many of his businesses, his business ventures, he left his partners holding the bag and he ran off. He put his name on it, gobble, 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 took what he could, and then he left his partners to hold the bags. He left many of his business partners in ruins, in financial ruins. And people want to continue to say that this guy is some type of smart. He's some type of genius. The dude is a hustler. They don't call him Don the Khan for nothing. He's winging the whole presidency. He knows absolutely nothing 
about leadership. The dude knows nothing about organizing and unifying. He's a reckless divider. So for Tracy Morgan to take up for somebody like that, at a time like this, especially when he is the root cause of all of this madness that's going on in America, he could have made a decision early on to thwart some of this pain, but he didn't because he's incompetent. He took it for a joke. Well, who's laughing now? Tracy, it ain't gonna work, homie. If someone was to rape a family member of yours, you wouldn't forgive them just because you were in the middle of a storm. You would not become less angry because you're facing a crisis. If anything, you smash the gas on their ass. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>